All right, what's going on? Well, welcome back to another video. So uh, I literally just had my track day yesterday. Well, at least yesterday as a day of this recording. And lo and behold, the Tom's Racing Strut Bar order from Apexi came in. I really wish this would have came in like literally uh, two days beforehand so I could really try and use it out to see what would happen. But either way, it was actually really good to get a much better baseline uh, knowing that I was able to shave three seconds off my time without changing anything. So hopefully this actually does anything. I'm not too familiar with Tom's. Uh, I just saw it on Apexi. They had it up. They only had like a few in stock. I ordered one and it's sold out and it's still sold out as a, the time of this recording. But I wasn't aware of this, but I guess this is just like a rebranded uh, Cusco. And I don't really know how the Cusco one is for the Corolla, uh, but I mean, I would assume it can't be that bad, right? Uh, these strut bar towers look pretty solid. Bar is a little flimsy itself, so but eh, nothing's really labeled Tom's. So that's kind of weird. I mean, there's a Tom instruction manual. Anyways, this is all the packaging comes with. Uh, one side stand, the other side stand, some hardware, and the bar itself. And a ton of packing peanuts. This was really annoying. I, I mean, what are you going to do, right? Anyways, enough babbling. Let's go ahead and get under the hood and see how easy or hard this is to install. Okay, so I was taking a minute to read over the instructions, or as much as I could at least, uh, mainly because they are in Japanese. Uh, but just going based off the pictures, I am unsure as to how this actually strengthens the strut tower. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, one, I wish they were in color so I could really see where everything was. But uh, I just based off looking at it right here, it doesn't look like it does very much. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and start installing it and see how it goes. Maybe I'm wrong. So first, uh, it looks like what you have to do is you have to pop these clips off off the uh, plastic cowl here. Either get a flathead or a little popping tool. Then remove the harness that's right here. All right, put that to the side. It's being very stubborn. <clears throat> mainly because I don't even think you're supposed to uh, remove it. This piece right here, then there's a bar that's attached to the strut tower that's very thin metal. Uh, you wedge that right there. Wedge that right so, okay. Then, once you have the bracket lined up, just go ahead and take the short gold bolt uh, one washer that fits this. It's a 10 millimeter. It, these are all supplied. One of the gold nuts. Go ahead, slide it through where this cable was. Take the nut and start tightening it in. Just go ahead and leave that loose for right now. Okay, next you're going to need the long silver bolt. Uh, one crush washer or split washer, however you want to call it. A regular flat washer and then this uh, spacer that they provide you why is the camera so off right go ahead slide that in to up here all right guys so i just wanted to iterate that the spacer actually has to go between the plastic cowl and the bracket itself i forgot to mention that so don't put it on top like i did right here for the first part of the video okay once you have the uh, silver bolts in place. You're going to take another short gold washer or bolt, flat washer, and another gold nut. Go ahead and place that over here onto the strut tower brace. Start to lock in the nut. Just finger tight for right now. Should be fine. Careful not to drop this. Kind of a tight squeeze for my fingers. All 
Next up, go ahead and take this supplied bracket. Uh, there is a nut welded onto the back. Make sure that is facing down. Go ahead, put that under here. And then we'll just leave that for right now. Okay, and then next we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. Go ahead, take this pop clip out. Take this harness clip out. to the side for now and then you reveal the uh, strut tower brace right here and you take the other bracket wedge it in between just like oh you know what I missed a step you're gonna have to remove which number to have Now, you can either reuse the factory bolt that they have, or they have one provided if you want the gold to match the gold, but if not, they're basically the same size. Take that 10 millimeter. Just kind of loosely have that for right now. Then you will take another short gold uh, bolt and the flat washer and another gold nut. Go ahead and slide that on through. Once again, be careful not to drop this nut because this will literally go into the next dimension if you lose this. Then next up, just like before, you're going to need the long silver bolt, the split washer, the flat washer. Take the spacer, put it underneath the cowl, then the bolt through that through the spacer, and then through the bracket. Then take the final bracket thing they have with the nut welded. Once again, nut facing down. Go ahead, find this bolt. And start to tighten that in. Okay, next up, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to install the bar. Go ahead and place that to the side for right now. Uh, go ahead and take this. Make sure not to drop any of the washer or the nuts. So there's going to be a nut, uh, a split washer, a flat washer. And the bar goes in like so. Slide the bolt, the Allen bolt with the washer or the the washer through the hole to the other side go ahead flat washer on split washer on then the nut okay. hand tight again so allen head bolt flat washer through the bar and we will do flat washer split washer and then the nut. Okay. So next up, you're gonna to wanna to take a eight millimeter Allen, 17 millimeter wrench, and start to tighten down.
All right, so next up, we're going to go ahead and take two 10 millimeter wrenches, one at the bottom, one at the top. If I can fit it in here, maybe. And start to tighten. Then next up, we'll go ahead and take a 12 millimeter <clears throat> and start tightening this down. And go ahead and take the 10 and do the bottom. Okay, then rinse and repeat on the other side. Okay, then lastly, they have these supplied zip ties uh, for you to go ahead. I wish they would have just made these holes right here big enough to go ahead and just reclip that in but they didn't so they provide zip ties for you to re-zip tie this harness back down which i guess is okay but i would have preferred if it were just clipped in right at the very edge zip tie snips if you have them those are better but all i got are my snap-on ones and last but not least go ahead and peel off the blue tape And there you have it. You are done. Your Tom slash Cusco strut bar install. Now they do provide a Tom sticker. Uh, if that is what you want to go ahead and add on there, uh, just to say it is Tom's and not Cusco. But yeah, guys, really quick, really simple install. I mean, honestly, if I wasn't recording anything, this probably would have took me 30 minutes. Really simple. Now, the one thing I am concerned about is that all the mounting points while this is technically connected to the strut tower because it's connected to the, uh, the frame that's connected around the strut tower, it's still a very thin piece of aluminum that it's connected to. Now that, that piece of like bracket uh, I had that you, I assume that's supposed to be wedged underneath there to like kind of maybe keep the, the middle part from flexing a little bit. I don't know, but I don't know if this is actually gonna do anything or if this is technically just more of a showpiece uh, I don't honestly know how it would connect to the strut bar anyways, unless there's a bar that will literally go all the way in there and then wrap all the way out. I don't know. This is, I'm not familiar with. The, so yeah, I'm not too familiar with this chassis. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead, wrap it all up, go out and take it for a test drive. Luckily, I just came from a track day. So I know how much this will actually help or not. So let me go ahead and clean up and uh, we'll head on out. All right, what's going on? Well, I changed out of my sweaty shirt because it is hot here in Texas. So we are going to go ahead and head over to this back road that I know that hopefully I can push it just at least a little bit hard enough uh, to where I can figure out if this bar actually does something. Now, if you guys know strut bars, uh, especially if it's just one, you're really not going to feel any noticeable difference on the road itself. You guys just aren't going to be able to push the car hard enough legally. Uh, to feel the difference but luckily for me I literally just came from a track day yesterday uh, so hopefully I can have some of the feel uh, or have a somewhat of a feel to see if it made any difference in this back uh, road I'm about to head on uh, I don't know if it's actually going to matter I don't know if it's actually going to do anything uh, just mainly one because of the the mounting points of it yes it's connected to a plate that is connected to the uh, strut tower uh, but the plate itself is a very thin piece of metal. Uh, but there are three mounting points, so we'll see uh, how it feels. Uh, just a little swaying here, left and right. I don't really feel any difference. The car is already so stiff from factory. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and head out to this back road and see how it feels. Okay, so I'm about to reach the back roads. Uh, just a quick few notes there isn't any more noticeable noise of rattle so if you guys are worried about that that doesn't seem to be affecting that at all uh just slight left and rights i don't know if it's just me but i don't feel anything personally like i said you're not going to feel the strut bar unless the car from factory is just some crazy type of flimsy you're really not going to notice a difference especially in a car like this uh but I'm waiting for this light to turn green so I can reach the back roads. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head on out and see how it goes.
Okay, here we go. Actually, that is a lot less body roll now than I thought that was going to produce. That was actually pretty good. Color me impressed, Cusco slash Toms. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, make another U-turn and uh, see how it does, just to be sure going the opposite direction. Okay, here we come. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of traffic, but just to give a turn-in idea... Unfortunately, I got stopped by traffic pretty quickly, but just turning alone feels so much, well, not so much better. It definitely feels a lot better uh, than it did before. Uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos on my track, this car has an odd amount of body roll for how stiff the suspension is and how stiff the chassis is. I'm assuming that's just because it has such a high center of gravity for being such a tall vehicle. Um, but other than that, yeah. Not too bad. I can only assume that that is because that the bar or the brackets themselves are so thick it maybe makes up for the thin plate that's connected to the strut tower. I don't know. Uh, I'll know for sure once I get it back on track, which is coming up on April 8th. Uh, so I'll def hopefully I can definitely have a feel for it by then. Nothing major should change by then suspension wise. So I should definitely be able to feel if there's a difference or not, but here we go, one more time. Oh yeah, it's so much more planted. Way more planted. Oh, that's very impressive. Now, I took that turn. Oh. I'm not going to say it because uh legal reasons, uh, but let's just say I took it a lot faster than I normally would have taken it, uh, mainly because it felt a lot more confidence-inspiring. So yeah, does this strut bar work on the street? Yeah, it works a little bit. A lot, very noticeable on the street. Uh, we'll see how noticeable it is on track. Uh, we'll see if we can shave any time, uh, just be able to like feel, get a better feel for the car out on the track. So yeah, guys. I don't know what it is, but it actually worked. I mean, are there better strut bars out there that maybe that connect to the uh, strut towers themselves that work better? Sure. Uh, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, TB Performance is one of those that makes it for the uh, E210 chassis. Um, that one connects to the strut tower directly. Uh, so that one probably has uh, a lot more, uh, I don't know, uh, clamping force onto the strut tower than the plate that is that's connected to the strut tower right now so yeah guys uh i'll leave links down below on where you can order it as of, as i said as of the time of this recording it is sold out uh they did say they're going to get more mid-march early april so until next time guys later